Okay. <laughs> All right. So today we are here with Brian. What was your last name? Kibuti. Kibuti. And he is a jewelry. What do you call yourself? I'm a jeweler, artist, but primarily a jeweler. Yeah. He's a jeweler. Yeah. And and an artist. Mm -hmm. So today we're just going to be looking at a bit of his workshop, and uh, he's going to be telling us a little bit about the work he does, and hopefully give us some advice on art and creating. Yeah. You don't have. Far different from that. My name is Brian Kibuti. I am a jeweler working here in Nairobi, Kenya. I don't only work as a jeweler, I also work as a photographer, which I picked up last year, and I paint as well. Uh, this is my practice. I set it up about three years ago. I'm in the third year of my business. I'm slowly growing and figuring it out. I don't know, growing up I didn't necessarily think jewelry is something I would do, but I think it's after a few months of seeing all these pictures that one day I just thought to myself, maybe this is something I could do. Like, I don't know. The thing I love most about this craft is for me it's two aspects the first is when I have an idea and it's a feeling that I can make that idea and the second really the kicker the one that really gets me is the finishing when you've gone through the whole process of making something and you've melted the metal you've polished it and everything else there's all this work and then you're in the last policy poli uh, <laughs> polishing stage and you see this beautiful shiny thing finally done and then I get to wear it or I get to show it to someone or I get to go out with it and it looks beautiful and it's I think for me my favorite thing and it's probably the same with any other craft or art that I practice is that process of seeing something that was an idea however clear or not clear in your head suddenly become clear and especially when it looks better than how you imagined it would be. I love to draw and I use that as a method to, to really put my ideas to paper and to flesh them out, yeah? Especially into getting the idea of the forms that I kind of want to play with. From there, I take it into wax and to metals. If I have an idea that is very specific, I would then take the metal, carve the form or make the piece that I'm making, melt it down and turn it into the piece of metal that's in the shape of what I'm making and finish it off. I don't know, I get excited about melting shit all the time. I think that will never disappear for me. I think it's, it's like the, the 10 year old boy in me is still there for anything, having to just heat everything to like 1200 degrees Celsius, seeing it burn, seeing it melt, seeing it like glowing hot, it's, it's exciting, it's exciting. I would say an important thing as an artist, or rather a useful thing as an artist, is finding other mediums uh, of expression. And most importantly, mediums of expression where you're not forcing yourself to do it. It's, a, it's an exploration for its own sake, where you're doing it almost as a release. It should not have much pressure on it. I think this relieves pressure from your main medium of expression. And I think it's important in the things it can be able to teach you along the side about your own creative expression and how much more you can be as well beyond that first medium. Uh, one particular piece of advice I'd give to artists and Kenyan artists and designers, or rather the thing that has really helped me, um, is having a community around you. That is a group of people who are in your field or close to your field or have an understanding of the struggles that you go through with what you're doing. These people will help reshape your ideas of the norms. They will help open doors for you in understanding yourself and especially they'll help you through your better reinterpreting your difficulties and reinterpreting your triumphs as well. They expand your mind beyond what you can think of. Okay, you guys, so we are done. Uh, thank you again so much, Brian, for Great hosting time. us, thank showing you us your coming. studio. Such, so cool. And thank you guys for coming again. Cheers, man. And thank you, Cohen, for making this all, lining a lot of this up. So this is the last in the three-part series we were doing with Asif and Jay. 
So Asif and Jay are gonna be coming out with a video as well. And we'll put a link below in all these videos so you can see that. Okay, we're done. Nice.